Hello, I'm Jerry Kirkpatrick, and I'm teaching the fundamentals of metal shaping. A while back, I got all of the laser cut pieces for the uh, fuel splash shields and the planum chambers that I'll be making for the independent rear end 1965 Mustangs that the original Venice crew will be making. And this video uh, will be on making those planum chambers and fuel splashes. Uh, I'll probably be making uh, a series. And this first one that you'll be watching here is on how to lay out the cone to make these two products. Uh, the first portion will be on how I used to do it back in the 70s and 80s when I was building uh, tanks for STP, building the Indy cars. And uh, the second part will be how to make them uh, now using a smartphone or your computer to lay them out. So let's see how that is done. So way back in the early days, uh, back in the 70s, 80s, before you could talk to your telephone and ask it how to lay out a cone, uh, this is how I used to do it. If I had a small cone like this, to make, uh, the first thing I would do is cut two discs that uh, were the same diameter as the top of the cone and the bottom of the cone. And I would draw a line to the center and then in order to get the height of the cone, I would use a piece of all thread with a couple of washers and a couple of nuts. So let me how, show you how uh, that would be assembled. So the two discs with the center line drawn on them uh, would be assembled at four inches, which is the height of the, the cone and then uh, make a couple of passes rolling it out to see where it needs to be on the paper so I'm going to need a line drawn right about here. Let's see how that rolls out. I'm going to put both of my ticks right on that line. And roll it out. Make sure it stays on the paper, which it does not. I'm going to have to come up higher. There we go, we got it now. It's going to be over there. So I'm going to take some baby powder. Spread it out.
They can put my piece on there with the lines lined up. Roll it out until I get to the end. Mark a line. There's one end. You can actually see the arc that the uh, two discs made. Where's the other one? Down here somewhere. Right here. So that's how you would roll a piece out prior to being able to talk to the com uh, telephone or the computer. So uh, now let's see how we do it today. So I misspoke uh, when I was making this next uh, segment. What I meant to say was radius. Uh, you'll notice I say diameter several times, but uh, think of it as me saying radius instead of diameter. So here we have a drawing uh, of the plenum chamber and this will give us the dimensions for the uh, smallest diameter, the largest diameter, and the height. So uh, now we open the generator on our phone and so we'll enter the dimensions and hit calculate. And now we get this screen. The only numbers we'll be using uh, to generate the uh, flat pattern is the smaller diameter, the larger diameter, and the cord. First thing I'm going to do <coughs> is draw a vertical line that we'll be offsetting a little bit later to establish our cord length. And the first thing I want to uh, draw here is the smaller diameter, which is 4.42 inches. And then I'm going to draw the second diameter which is 8.85 inches in diameter. And now we can see both circles. The next thing I'm going to do is offset the line here in the center which will uh, establish the cord. If you notice that the cord is 14.99 inches, I'm going to round that off. So I'm going to offset uh, this line seven and a half inches, both to the right and left. And then I'm going to extend both of these lines to the outside. And then I'm going to draw a line from the point of intersect to the center, to the second point of intersect, 
And at this point, we can't forget that we have a half inch flange that has to be turned on the bottom. So I'm going to offset this inner line one half inch and that will give me the uh, the inner innermost circle for the for the flange and now I'm going to trim to here and here all of these and I'm going to erase these three lines and then I'm going to trim to here that and now we have the pattern for the um, for the piece that we'll be rolling in the slip rolls. Now that we're ready to print, uh, one little trick that I have found is that if I draw a line or a, a set of lines that will uh, allow me to print and know pretty much what the what the grid is I just draw a horizontal and a vertical line and then I offset those about six inches and that way when I print I know each of these grid areas will uh, fit on a eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper So there you have it. So there you have uh, how to lay out a cone, uh, both the early style and how a normal person would do it now. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about uh, laying out a cone or anything else in, that you might see in this video, uh, feel free to ask that question uh, below the description. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you very much for watching.